Hello and welcome to episode three of our Unit 4 Financials Feature Spotlight series. In this episode, we'll show you how to use the intercompany functionality. For this demo, we're using Unit 4 Financials 2020. The idea behind the intercompany function is that as part of uploading a transaction to the books of one company, the sending company document lines are transferred to and posted in another company, the receiving company. The transfer takes place using intercompany processing, or better known as trace. When this has been run, control postings are made in both the sending and receiving companies so that transactions balance in each company. All the transactions taken together for a single cross-company update. You can also send document lines along a chain of companies, and this is called forwarding. We'll be looking at how to enter an intercompany transaction directly into financials. Understanding intercompany processing, destination receiver masters, and the input template master. Firstly, I'm going to process a journal and run the intercompany processing to show you how easy it is to use. Then we'll be looking at what master's documents and templates are required to make this process work. I've already logged on to the company, and the company that I have logged on to will be the sending company. We will now proceed to do a journal. From the main menu, go to Finance, Data Entry, and Input. We will find an intercompany template to use. Green tick. Complete the header so from the drop down list we'll take today's date. Year period, I'm going to leave the same. Currency, I'm going to leave the same. And we will type in a description and we will check the header. The first line of the journal, I'm going to change the destination to self. Self is the sending company and we will complete the rest of the account string. You will see that the line description has come down from the header and we will type in a reference and we'll use my initials as the external reference too. Second line of the journal, this is going to be the receiving company, and we'll type in the rest of the account string. No element four in this instance. We will have the same reference, and we'll have my initials again. Document balances, yes, that all looks good. Click on resolve, validate for books, the validation takes place on the receiving company and not on the sending company and will post books. I will just make a note of the journal and we will come out of there. Right, let us have a look at the journal. So we'll go to the home portal inquiries, browse details, document code we'll type in and we'll view the journal. OK, so this is what I've processed already. The first line is the line that I keyed in. The second line has been generated by the system. Now you will not see anything for the receiving company because we have not run the trace. We'll just come out of there and we'll go and run the trace. So I'm going back to the main menu, into company processing, Put a log title in, select the intercompany trace selector, click on start. Sending company will select and destination will select. We'll put the document code in that we are sending over and we'll process. When it is completed, I would recommend that you view the logs and you'll see here that it says it's processed a document. I've got no failures, no warnings, but four successes. Look at the log in more detail and it tells you exactly what it has done. Come out of there, go back to the home portal, go back into browse details. And we will look at the document again. Now, if we look at view related documents, you'll see that we now have four lines. We have two lines in the sending company and two lines in the receiving company. And the lines here with the account code 351000 is the control account, which has balanced both ledgers up. You will also see that the reference that I used has gone through into both companies and that this is always very useful for doing searches. 
the document code that it uses in the sending company is different than the one in the receiving company. We're now going to have a quick look at masters and documents that make this process work. Your system administrator will have access to the masters and will be able to set up this functionality for you. To pass entries between companies, you will need to have set up the following. The first thing you need is your intercompany control accounts. This is required for your balancing lines. You will then need to set up two document masters, one for sending and one for receiving. These are your journals. We are going to take a quick look at these documents now. So, from the main menu, go to Finance Document Master. We have set up two. We have an intercompany journal and an intercompany receiving journal. We are just going to look at the intercompany journal. It is a standard document. We have the special option set as neither, but if you come to your posting settings, you'll see that we have enabled intercompany and we've set a default destination code to see UKCA, which is our receiving company. Moving on to external references, you need to decide whether you want to set your references document wide or whether you want individual external references to be forced. In this example, we have set external reference 1 and external reference 2 as false. You then need to look at your intercompany masters. So finance intercompany and the first one that we need to set up is the receiver master. You need to decide what codes you want to use and your naming conventions. We must set the receiving document master, which is why you set the document masters up earlier. What your validation is, in this case we're going to go for books, and we've ticked the duplicate of this company log and the accumulate lines. On your document header for the year period in this example, we have set it to be the receiving company's current period. Authorizing user we have set as none and the document description we have set as being sent from the sending company. On your control accounts we have everything set as analysis, line sense as credit and the control account has been populated. On your line reference we have external reference 1 and 2 as being sent and everything else is set as none. The line description we have as the vocabulary as coming from the sending company. We are now going to have a look at the destination master. On your destination master, again, you need to decide your coding conventions used with allocation. Transfer method we have set as local. What that means is you are transferring to another company within your current database. The receiving company you need to set and your receiving master, which is why you set up the receiving master first. Your validation we have set to books and your control account needs to be populated. You need to set up a selector for the intercompany processing. So masters, selector, and we've called ours into company trace. You need to ensure that you set up your location as self. And then on the vocabulary, you need to make sure that you have the following fields set up. Sending company, sending document code, sending document number, destination trace, document currency, input date, receiving company, and receiving document code. Lastly, we need to look at the input template master. In your input template master, you'll link it to the document code. The header, obviously, you'll decide how you want to set that up yourself. But if you come to defined lines, you need to ensure that you have set up an intercompany destination and it is set as mandatory. Everything else you set up as you would normally on an input template master, and you need to have that on both lines. On your destination and receiver masters, you need to ensure that you set up a destination and receiver master in both your sending and your receiving companies. Going back to the example of the data entry that I showed you earlier in the video, we used financials, but you could set up a code Excel template that will do the same job for you. Lastly, on your intercompany processing, you do not need to run the trace every time you have passed an entry. You can schedule to run the trace at various times during the day. And that concludes our short video for you today. I hope you found it useful. You can watch more of our Unit 4 Financial Spotlight series on our YouTube channel.
Here at Millennium Consulting, we provide dedicated support for your business. Our team of consultant-grade application and technical experts provide you with a wealth of experience in supporting mission-critical systems. We monitor and manage your solutions so you do not have to, allowing you to focus on growing your business. Contact us for further details by visiting our website, millenniumconsulting.com. Thank you.